back and relax and enjoy another episode of Jane C. Fix and Play. play, play. So if retro games is one of your things, I'm sure you've noticed that recently, probably over the last year, um, that the price of Wii consoles and Wii accessories and games have started going up. Probably mostly due to the fact that the kids that grew up with that are now coming of age where they have the additional money. So recently I was able to grab one of these special edition Mario uh, Wii remotes. And as you can see, it is not working. It is heavily corroded. I've never seen anything like this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean them out and make them work. So let's get to it. So the first thing we have to do is actually get these old batteries out. And it is a struggle, you know? Yes, the one comes out, but you can see it kind of just hangs on there still. It actually corroded whatever these things are wrapped in uh, to the actual controller. So. First thing you gotta do is get those off. Um, one side note, I'm not sure how bad this stuff is for you, so maybe wear a pair of gloves. Um, I try not to touch it, so I end up using a screwdriver or some sort of blade to try to pop these out. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Maybe wear some gloves. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off the corrosion that's like encased or crystallized itself onto the actual cover and the case and the controller. So all I'm using is some rubbing alcohol. This is 70% and it did the trick. I would highly recommend, especially this, since this is electronics and we are going to be moving towards like the actual board of the controller, I would recommend trying to get your hands on 90 or 91% given everything that's going on. It is a little hard to find right now, but I was able to make this work and I just let the pieces dry before I put it back together. Um, but yeah, I just put a little bit on a Q-tip and just kind of rub, rubbed it down and, you know, comes right off. So we'll see here next. And here we, here we are, all done. So nice and uh, clean, very good, comfortable with this. So we're going to set this to the side now and move on to the next piece. All right. So next is on to the main body of the controller. And this is going to be a little bit more difficult piece. So as you can see, all the corrosion is on those terminals, and we have to get that off. So you can see the spots here, and it's pretty bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to get inside of it, and to do so, you're going to need a tri-wing screwdriver. So if you don't have one of those, get on eBay, Amazon, or any place that sells uh, parts for you know Nintendo Game Boys or anything like that. Um, but yeah, four screws, just take them out. So just get that out. Next step is to actually separate the controller and take your time doing this. I use like a credit card or something like that. Um, you can use a guitar pick or you can buy like an actual kit that sells tools to wedge between. But what you want to do is be very careful, take your time because you got to put on towards the front of the controller is two clips that hold it together and that's the piece that you have to watch it with. So once you push in on those two clips, you can pull the body of the controller apart and this is what you want. You're going to pull out the main PC, PCB board, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see here, we have our main body, the piece with all the corrosion. So just like before, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to soak it and try to scrape off what I can. Um, it's probably not all going to come off. And if yours is extremely bad, you might want to try to desolder it and solder it back together. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking a little exacto knife and I'm just lightly scraping I repeat, lightly scraping the uh, some of the corrosion off after I soaked it with the rubbing alcohol. And just watch it with the knife and the actual board because you don't want to cut anything. Once that's done, now it's on to the actual plastic shell and this is pretty easy. Uh, same thing, just soak it or if, it's, if you can, just scrape it right off. And then once you do this, like I said, I just give it a once over, a good clean. And now you want to set it aside and let it dry though once you're done. Don't put it back together right away. Okay, and now from this point, everything is in reverse. Um, side note, if your speaker is bad, now's the opportunity to change that. Just order a replacement. Now, going back to the controller, um, yeah, it's literally just reverse. You're gonna pop the PC board back in. Uh, you're gonna snap the controller back together. 
and now you're just going to put the four screws back in and tighten it back down. Okay, now it's done. All well, you got next step, pop some batteries in and test it out. Let's see what we're gonna do now. A couple double A's, put them in, and presto. It's fixed, it's working. So that's all I had to do to fix mine. Um, I hope this video helps you guys with being able to take the controller apart. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, click the like button, and hit that subscribe button if you guys wanna see more videos.